everybody, it's me, I'm in the kitchen, I made it. Okay, so, what am I doing? I am browning a pound of beef, and I am, I'm telling you, honey, this ain't no, this ain't not the store-bought stuff, this is the grass-fed stuff I was telling you about. Don't buy that stuff in the grocery store. By the way, they do sell it at those, uh, those hippie stores. Yeah. They do have freezer sections in some of those hippie markets. God bless our hippies. More deodorant for the rest of us, huh? Oh, that's a terrible thing to say. I didn't mean that. Okay, so we're gonna brown our meat. Let's get this. What a messy kitchen. Messy, 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 messy. I've got leftovers here that I made turkey ones the other day. And uh, the leftover filling was uh, garlic, carrots, peas, potatoes, and mama's turkeys from the backyard. Yeehaw! Love me my turkeys. Getting ready to process a couple more. So, after this browns, I'm going to come back and we're going to um, put in the rest of the ingredients. I've got onion here and I'm going to put that in there. Yes, you gotta have the onion. If you don't, if that's a, a really good thing to prep on too. Uh, you can get at the dollar stores the dehydrated uh, minced onion and garlic. Buy lots of that stuff. Don't go without your spices. Keep your spices. I don't care if all you can afford is seasoning salt at the dollar store. Get it. Get it. Cost a dollar. Okay, here we go. Onions. Now don't write in and say, Joanna, you should have let that meat brown before you put those onions in, or you should have put those onions in before you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? It's all going in the same place. And normally I would have browned the onions first. But this particular recipe is going to call for very shortly one cup of water. Now, you can put water or you can put stock. I like stock. I'll be back at you after this gets going. Then we're gonna do our dough. Woohoo! Hold on. Okay, so I've had that uh, meat and onions going. I've got one cup of stock and adding that. And you're saying, Joanna, you using chicken or are you using beef? Guess what? I use the chicken and I use chicken all the time with meat and there's nothing, 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 nothing wrong with it. In fact, you're probably going to be uh, hard-pressed to find meat broth as easy as you can chicken broth. Now, I've got some frozen peas, and I've got some lovely uh, carrots that came from my garden. Now, these were frozen, <clears throat> but I've chopped them up really good. And really, you should cube everything just because if you keep everything uniform in size. So, I'm going to put those in. I touched them with my hands. Oh my goodness. Don't write in. Okay, now we got some frozen peas. Okay. And we've got that. And then what we're going to do is cover it up. Let me get a lid down here. I'm going to cover it up. We're going to stir it. Yeah, I'm stirring with a spatula, so why who cares? Hey, that's kind of pretty. You want to see it? And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add my leftover filling because when I made the calzones before, whatever you wanna call them, I, um, look how pretty. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yep. No, I don't have celery in them. Why? I don't really like celery. It doesn't really have that great a nutritional value. And uh, I, uh, I use celery salt, that kind of stuff, but not a big fan of just celery for celery, unless you put peanut butter and raisins in it. Okay, what have I got here? I'm cheating, I'm cheating. Here's another thing you can find at uh, the dollar stores. It's the garlic, the minced garlic. So I'm gonna put some of that in. Why? Because I use like, <laughs> I use garlic by the pound. Don't look now, that's a big old heaping teaspoon of it. Now, normally what I would do is I would add spinach to this as well. I've got um, kale in the freezer. Don't cringe. It's good for you. Uh, 
<laughs> but I, since I have the leftover uh, filling from the other night, you know what? I'm wondering whether I want to mix that other filling with this. I might just make these fresh because this looks really beautiful. Now, I'm just going to let this cook for about five minutes, covering it up, and then I'm going to add one cup. No, 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 no. I'm going to add like three tablespoons of flour and some water, you know, like a half a cup of water to like three tablespoons. And then I'm going to pour it in there and kind of thicken it up. Now, you don't have to do that. You can use cornstarch, less than that, or whatever you like. But you know, it's just it's just a kind of a binding thing. Uh, there we go. I'll be back. We're going to do the dough next. Dough next? Okay. I think I said that last time, but we really are going to do the dough next. Oh, it's me. I'm back again. Okay. Just a little quick side note. I'm going to uh, repeal my last statement. I am going to be doing the, the dough next. Uh, but I'm going to make this with a little curry. Now, here's the beauty of this simple, simple recipe. You can add whatever you want. You want an Italian flair? You could literally add a little tomato paste to that. You could, if you wanted to. You could have put Italian sausage, um, Jimmy Dean pork sausage, it doesn't matter. You can make it your own. Of course, you want to drain the fat out because the, the, it's kind of going to bubble out uh, with, the, uh, with the dough after you cook it. So I'm going to put a little curry in here. Spice it up. Okay, I'll be back, and then we will do the dough next. How many times have I said that? Four times? Three okay, times. Okay, I'm back, and guess what we're doing? The dough. Okay. What have I got in here? I've got four cups, four cups of flour. Now, last time I made it with three cups, but the problem was um, my dough was really, really soft. And so this, you know, which is fine, you know, it was beautiful, but it was just a little harder to work with, with my hands. Okay, here's the magic stuff, the magic powder, the baking powder, one tablespoon. Yeah, that sure sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Okay, and do not scrimp on the salt. Put a teaspoon of salt in there. You know, uh, the, uh, the, th the three cup recipe calls for like, whoa, here we go. Calls for um, half a teaspoon, but I'm putting in a teaspoon. Cut why? Because I'm older and my taste buds aren't what they used to be. Okay, I still know good from bad though. Uh, and here's another secret. Just a spoonful of sugar in just about anything you make will make it taste better. And nobody's going to care in a whole pot of stuff that one teaspoon. Guess what? I'm going to put it in my meat too. Shh. You don't want to do it? Don't do it. Sugar. And don't come home with those five pound bags. I buy any everything in 25 pound bags. Oh no, she didn't stir it in. Oh no, no, say it ain't so. <laughs> okay, stirring. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Oh, MG, this smells and looks delicious. I'm, I'm gonna show it to you again. I know, I know, I shouldn't do stuff like that, but I can't help it. I know, I put my fork, my spoon down there, spatula. <gasps> Look how pretty. Look how pretty. Oh. Here we go. There's the dry ingredients. What else are we going to put in these dry ingredients, Mama? We are going to put in one of my favorite, favorite, favorite. I only use this. Olive oil. Mama like olive oil. How much olive oil are you gonna put in here, Mom? Okay, first of all, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get me a little, I'm gonna sift. I'm gonna sift those dry ingredients. All right. Two points. Here we go. One. Two. Tres. 
quattro, five, six, six tablespoons. That sure sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, it's all good. Cover that up. And I'm going to cover this up. Now we're also going to add some water to this dough. I'm going to add like three quarters of a cup of water, but you might have to play with it a little bit to, um, to see how your dough works out. But I'm going to be right back. Okay. So we've got about three quarters of a cup here. I'm going to put this down here. Now, this gets a little tricky. What do you have to do? You have to get in there with your hands and work this dough. Okay? Now, it's going to kind of look like, resemble, and I know you've heard this a million times. Um, am, I, am I even in the bowl? I can't even tell whether I'm even in the bowl. Am I in the bowl? Okay. So we're working the dough. Can you see that? They're gonna, it's kind of gonna look like, like peas. You know, you've heard that before, like grated sand. It's a very, it's the very similar recipe to, um, that, uh, tor that, I want to say flatbread or to uh, tortillas that I made before. Anyway, there it is. Kind of, see, kind of looks kind of like sand. And we're gonna add the liquid. Did I wash my hands? Yes, I washed my hands. Wash my hands a million times a day. Actually, that looks really, that looks like perfect. Perfect, perfect consistency. Okay, here goes the water. Let's see what happens now. I'm going to probably pick up my handy dandy trusty spoon to do this with though. <clears throat> Still with you, hang in there. I gotta wash my hands, I can't stand to have my hands dirty. Unless I'm outside. Okay, here we go. Cup of spatula. There we go, we're gonna work this dough, honey. And if it seems a little dry, I'll just add a little more water because after all I did increase the um, flour uh, cut from the last recipe so here we're gonna work it some more we don't want to work to you know we don't want to overdo it but I just didn't want to get have a big soft mess on my hands beyond you know like that's okay for some recipes but for this one we need a little hardiness okay what have we got here we are going to add to this meat mixture now. I'm going to put this aside. And I've got to get my flour out again. Mamma mia, I shouldn't have put it away. Yeah, I say big containers. Okay. So, I've got a little egg wash here. And here's my little calzone. I overstuffed it. Why? Because I like them puffy and fat and full of food. This is still a meal. You know, this is the size of um, a casoretti or oh, what's that? What is that? It's an Italian dish that my mother makes with the uh, stuffed with the cheese, and then you actually drop this whole thing like a dumpling in chicken and beef stock with vegetables and beef and chicken, and it's marvelous. So here we go. That is one. I'm going to fill up the rest of them, and then we're going to pop them in the oven, and you're going to see something really, really, really beautiful. Okay, here's your finished product. Look how beautiful, golden brown. Nice, 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 nice. And they're puffy. They're puffy, puffy, puffy. So, enjoy.